Federal Parliament has given the green light to a groundbreaking and controversial IVF technology to prevent the deadly genetic disorder mitochondrial disease. The bill is dubbed Maeve's Law, named after a little girl suffering from the debilitating disorder, and it passed through the Senate after a late-night debate overnight. Affected families say the law offers hope to the heartbreaking disorder, hope that the heartbreaking disorder can be eradicated, while religious groups argue the technology raises serious ethical concerns. John Daly has the story. Senators debated late into the night, touching on the sanctity of life and religious belief. Ultimately, lawmakers passed the bill legalising a procedure that offers hope for families affected by mitochondrial disease, a deadly genetic disorder. Maeve's law bill passed 37 to 17 in the Senate without amendments late last night. By the minister be agreed to, those of that opinion say aye. Against, I believe the eyes have it. The bill is named after Maeve Hood, a little girl living with the rare but debilitating disorder that will eventually take her life. Her father, Joel Hood, still can't believe it passed. But for Maeve, obviously, to have a legacy um, when she does leave us, it, it's really special. And I think just having the opportunity to be able to tell our story um, to try and help, I suppose, future generations, it's... It's for us, um, I think we're just in a bit of disbelief still, to be honest. Mitochondrial DNA disease is a genetic disorder passed on by the mother, affecting mitochondria, the cells in our body that produce energy. The disorder stops these power cells from working properly and eventually whole organ systems fail. Recent Australian studies suggest about 1 in 200 people will carry a mitochondrial genetic defect and about 50 babies are born each year with the disease. Maeve's law will take steps towards legalising mitochondrial DNA donation. Murdoch Children's Research Institute professor David Thorburn explained how it works. Yes, so mitochondrial donation is effectively allowing to take mum's genes from her egg, her nuclear genes that encode nearly everything in one's body, uh, and to take them out of that egg, put them into a, a donor egg with a healthy mitochondrial DNA background, so uh, from which the donor's nuclear genes have been removed. And that means that the child that um, is hopefully born from that egg will not suffer from mitochondrial DNA disease because there's healthy mitochondrial DNA from a donor. The technology has raised a range of ethical concerns among mainly religious groups. In submissions, they've raised questions about whether the donor should be considered to be a parent, whether a child has the right to know the genetic contributors, and whether the technology could inadvertently be used for other things. These concerns also featured in passionate debate in the Senate from the likes of New South Wales Labor Senator Deborah O'Neill. My conscience on these matters that we are debating about the sanctity of human life are informed by the great a theological tradition, the language and the the, uh, practices and beliefs of the Catholic faith. But there are people of no faith who also share these views about the protection of human life and embryos. There's also some ethical concerns from within the scientific community. University of New South Wales bioethicist Jackie Leach Scully says those fears relate to human gene manipulation. Many people are concerned that this takes us another step towards the genetic manipulation of human beings. But it does mean that parts of the existing law around genetic manipulation of human beings will have to be modified to allow for mitochondrial uh, replacement technology. And so some people, as I say, are concerned that this is the beginning of a slippery slope. Supporters of the bill say there will be strict safeguards in place and only couples who have mitochondrial disease in the family will be allowed to access the technology under strict supervision. And while it's too late for Joel Hood's daughter Maeve, he says it gives hope to other families. It's almost like playing the lottery, having a decision of do we have a child where this could potentially happen to them. For them to have an opportunity to basically make that choice as to whether or not they want to have a family and they want to have a healthy family, to us that's the most satisfying thing. It won't make a difference for Maeve, um, but Maeve will now have made a difference for other families in future. That's Maeve's father, Joel Hood, ending that story from John Daly.